The feds will pick up most of the bill to fix that bridge or replace it if need be. And is there any other money laying around? NBC 10's Gabrielle Caracciolo picks up our coverage. Gabrielle? Well, no one at the state or federal level will give an estimate for how much the Washington Bridge closure will cost. When it comes to state funding, there's less money available to write out right now than leaders planned for in the past. <laughs> $41 million in yearly truck toll profits remain out of the pocket of Rhode Island's Transportation Department. Those estimated earnings were set to pay for bridge repair and reconstruction projects across the ocean state. The vehicles that are causing the most damage to our roads and bridges are paying their fair share. Since the tolls were ruled unconstitutional and turned off in 2022, the state has missed out on millions of dollars in revenue as the issue makes its way through the courts. We had already bonded based on the revenue we anticipated from those tolls. That revenue stream was taken uh, off the table by a righteous decision in the courts. So we are already at a, at a financial uh, disadvantage as far as maintenance and upkeep and improvement of our, our infrastructures. Amid the Washington Bridge shutdown, the truck toll profits remain top of mind, even amongst the lawmakers who were against them. Now, when we consider a project of, of this magnitude, that, of course, makes us ask, where are we going to get this money? There's no estimate for how much the bridge shut down and the necessary repairs or replacement will cost. The bridge funding so far to date, most of it's been federal funding. It's usually about an 80-20 match. While the tolls were on, the state made over $96 million in revenue specifically for ride-out projects. Nearly $90 million of that has already been spent. A write-out spokesperson tells me the remaining $6.6 .6 million in truck toll funds have not yet been allocated. And while the engineer reports on the bridge are expected at the end of February or the beginning of March, it's unclear if that's when the state will have an estimated price tag for the shutdown. In studio, Gabrielle Caracciolo, NBC 10 News.